how do you tell the difference between a Barracuda and a Wahoo? I'm going to show you two easy identifiers that can help you tell the difference, even when there's variable lighting like you might get when you're snorkeling or scuba diving. The Wahoo and the Barracuda have similar body shapes, and both can have vertical stripes that seem to appear and disappear depending upon the light or the viewing angle. Notice how this fish has very distinct bending at one point, and then when the light or the angle changes, they seem to disappear. Barracuda have long, nasty, fang-like teeth that can cause serious injury to humans. But are Barracuda really dangerous? The answer is yes and no. Barracuda don't normally attack people, but under certain conditions they will. Particularly if the Barracuda feels threatened, or if it feels like you're going to attack it, then it will attack you in self-defense. Slow movements and keeping a respectful distance can help minimize this type of attack. The other reason a Barracuda might attack is if it thinks you're good to eat. Generally, if it can see you, it realizes you're not a fish which it likes to eat, you're a human which it doesn't like to eat. If the water clarity is poor, however, and it can't really see, it might sense you before it decides whether you're good to eat, and if it does, it's going to attack first and ask questions later. It can also be tempted to strike if it sees things that remind it of prey fish. Things like shiny, sparkly jewelry, or parts of your equipment that may look like the shiny scales of a fish catching the sunlight. Splashing around like an injured fish may also attract it. But I promise two quick, easy features to identify a barracuda from a wahoo. Here you go. A wahoo has a long front dorsal fin with many points that run along the length of its back, almost all the way to the rear dorsal fin. First, the dorsal fins are quite different. The wahoo also has a thin tail that's shaped a bit like a crescent moon. The barracuda, on the other hand, has two triangular dorsal fins that are widely separated. The barracuda's tail is wider and has a distinct indent in the middle. We'll show you that in the close-up in just a second. It's easy to see here in the drawings, but what about underwater? Let's take a look. See how there are two short fins spaced well apart? That would indicate barracuda. Let's check the tail. See there? Let's freeze that. Wide with the indented shape confirms the barracuda. By checking these two features, you can easily distinguish a barracuda from a wahoo while snorkeling. This barracuda was filmed by me while snorkeling in the US Virgin Islands in St. Thomas off of Cascay. We got to spend about an hour snorkeling there, and we saw several barracuda. If you found this interesting or useful, hit the like button, hit the notifications bell, and subscribe to our channel, at Nature's Wild Animals. Thanks.